YTPC Padre coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube to say, well, hello there, YouTube. I hope you are doing well. In fact, I hope you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you. I wanted to do, because I haven't done this in a while, one of my top five lists. Now, here's the thing about these top five lists. I suspect that I have probably done this particular top five before. I didn't go back to bother to check. And uh, the reason is, is because, well, tastes change from time to time. And so what I wanted to present today was um, my top five English blends, but there's a caveat. And this is where I think maybe I didn't give this kind of list. I think I did a top five. I wanna make this more about <clears throat> A, type, a top five list of blends that I personally enjoy smoking when the weather has gotten cold. And a second caveat to that, it just happens that they're all, you know, uh, blends that have uh, Latakia in them. Um, but the second caveat was I wanted to make the, this to, to be a list of blends that are easily available. Therefore, every single one of the five I'm gonna talk about today are available in bulk. And I think that, that that's, you know, maybe that's not important to some people. Some people only want to do tinned blends and, and that's okay. The deal is, um, I know in, in some of my past, I, I remember doing a list, I don't remember if it was my top five non-aromatics or my top five English or my top five replacements for Frog Morton or whatever it was, one of those money lists I've done I can remember um, Skiff Mixture being in there. I was really into that blend. I still really enjoy that blend. Uh, and at the time, I was having absolutely no problem finding it. It was so readily available. Uh, but as of the past 12 months or so, it seems that uh, the Samuel Gawith brand has just really become difficult. I'll tell you, in my brick and mortar, it has been easier to pick up the Esotericas than to pick up the Sammy G's. So you just never know how these things are going to play out. What I wanted to do here, and I've got this bad feeling that maybe I'm going to jinx all five of them, and in a year from now, they're going to be hard to come by because I did a video on them. I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. Let me light this, uh, this pipe. I'll give you a little bit of house cleaning. I don't want to tell you the whole deal because what I'm enjoying in this particular pipe is actually on the list. This is a essentially a basket pipe. It's a Bianca. Nothing fancy about it. It smokes a particular blend that I've dedicated it to. It smokes it oh so well. And some of you might remember in a previous video, I actually mentioned it. Now here's the deal. This is not my number one blend this time around, so it's in the middle of the pack, but I'll tell you when we get to it. Before I get to it, one other little piece of info I wanted to get to was I received a wonderful package in the mail. I wanted to offer a shout out and a thank you to the senders. Uh, this is from our good friends, uh, the Duchess and some guy named Matt. <laughs> You, of course, uh, know Matt by uh, Cigar Smoking Vets 2, a wonderful YouTube channel presence on Instagram and such. Sent me a nice little uh, bro and sis note because it's from both of them. It says, Dearest Padre, uh, Matt and I, you see, actually, the Duchess wrote this. <laughs> Matt and I would like to send you these two pouches of special Big Star Cigar Pipe Tobacco Blends as a token of our thanks for your wonderful friendship and support. We hope you will enjoy the blends as much as we have. Blessings to you and your family. Best and warmest regards, Matt and the Duchess. Thank you so much. I'm gonna just show you real quick what they sent over. Um, this is, and again, it sounds like it's from their local brick and mortar, Big Star, which I'm not familiar with, and I've never heard of either one of these blends, which means, you know, they're, they're house blends probably, which could mean that they have concocted something in-house where they're blending some components together, or it could just mean that they're repackaging something by Sutliff or Lane or who knows. Uh, I don't know what the story is on either one of these. A very quick Google search turned up nothing, but this one is called 
uh, Percy Priest and has a wonderful aroma about it. It's a very, very dark blend. Uh, lots of dark, um, I would imagine that's cabinish and it smells as such. I have not tried this, but I look forward to trying it. This one, on the other hand, the name, as soon as I opened it up, the name caught me and I said, man, I have got to try a bowl of this. It's called Chicken and Waffles. Chicken and Waffles, one of perhaps the most unique blend names for pipe tobacco that I've ever uh, come across. And I'll be honest, uh, in the bag, it smells like any other light aromatic might smell in the pipe. This stuff is some of the coolest smoking. Uh, I was about to say for an aromatic, just for any blend. This is some of the coolest smoking, most flavorful blend I've ever had. I don't know how they make it that cool smoking. So enjoyable, really have enjoyed this one thoroughly. So thank you both uh, for both of these blends. Looking forward to also trying this Percy Priest real soon. Uh, you guys are the best. And listen, uh, this is my mea culpa. Cigar Smoking Vets too. they were actually the winners of uh, my Padre Piper's uh, uh, latest gall, which was the uh, fourth year anniversary gall. And because I'm such a loser, I haven't made it to the mailbox yet, the post office, to send off their winnings. Promise you this, it's happening tomorrow because I've got to go to the post office to bring a big old stack of mail for church. It's the uh, annual stewardship campaign material that's going out. So I've got to go to the post office, which means your package is going to be on its way. I'm talking, so I'm sure this isn't staying lit. Give it another shot. And I thank you for bearing with me. And yes, I know. I know what I'm using. It's uh, borrowed from the Acolyte Supply Closet. You know who you are. Everybody knows who you are now, Blue Dog. I've done out of you. Pardon me while I tamp a little bit. And you know, one of the hardest parts about making a video is keeping the bowl lit because we talk too much. I'm gonna grab a quick swig there of the black stuff and we're gonna get underway. I'm gonna do a quick rundown. These are not exhaustive reviews. Again, this is just five blends that I'm gonna be smoking during the cool weather, cold weather season. I think you might wanna try them too because number one, they're inexpensive. Number two, they're great. Uh, number three, they're readily available. So right off the list, I'm gonna come in with just a lat bomb and it's C&D's Star of the East, over 50% Latakia in this blend. It is an in-your-face lat bomb, if you like that sort of thing. The room note is probably going to offend everyone who's not a pipe smoker, and that's okay. This is for your pleasure, not theirs. Uh, copy this off of TobaccoReviews.com, says starting with a base of 50% Latakia with a generous portion of Turkish leaf, then sweetened with stoved red Virginia. Mm. Star of the East is a full bodied blend. That, that is spot on. It is a full bodied blend, as well as a longtime favorite of C&D customers. Now you can get this in flake form, you can get it in uh, rubbed form, you can get it in a tin, and you can get it in bulk. And folks, I'm telling you, the bulk, it's inexpensive, it's wonderful when you're in the mood for lat, this, is one to go to. It's one of my go-tos, particularly uh, when the weather is getting cold. That's number five. Number four, as we count down to number one of Padre's top five bulk blends to smoke in the cool weather. They all are English blends, have Latakia in them such. Uh, number four comes to us from uh, down south here at the Country Squire Tobacconist. If you have not had chance to try this blend out, folks, Get yourself a couple of ounces and see what you think of it. It's called Shepherd's Pie. It, uh, it makes reference to an iconic blend that ain't there no more. Uh, and I think that it is, it's a good reference point in the blend, of course, being Frog Morton. If you're looking for this to be your Frog Morton um, replacement, knockoff, etc., it's gonna, it's gonna disappoint you because it's not that, but it is in that realm. It, it really is a cool smoking 
uh, light English blend. It says, uh, Frog Morton, eat your heart out, a decidedly English style tobacco that is incredibly kind to the mouth and packed with flavor. True on both counts, folks. A generous helping of Latakia is accompanied by noticeable Turkish Izmir, ribbon cut Virginia's unflavored black Cavendish. It's that unflavored black Cavendish in the shepherd's pie that gives it this uh, mouthfeel this, uh, and creaminess about it. I'm telling you folks, good stuff. And a dash of soft burley that keeps it just, uh, it, it, it keeps it flavorful. Uh, it's, it's not a ton of it. It keeps it cool, uh, burning, a complex blend and a non-aromatic treat. That's my number four go-to bulk blend in the English realm uh, during the cold weather months from the Country Squire Tobacconist Shepherd's Pie. Try it, folks. Give John David uh, a call and, and get some shipped your way. I go on to the website. I'm actually enjoying my cup of mud today, as my friend Ghost Cobb would say, and my Black Country Squire Tobacconist mug. I'm taking a little sip there to wet my whistle. Okay, we get to my number three on this list of top five bulks that are readily available, inexpensive, and you can get a hold of and enjoy during the cold weather months like Padre does. And it's what I'm smoking in this here pipe. It's Kramer's Father Dempsey. Now I've told the story, other folks have told the story. You can go online and read the story about how this blend came to be and about the old Irish priest out in California by the Kramer store and such. I'm not gonna get into all that. I'm just gonna tell you this is a fantastic blend. I smoke it in this particular pipe. Why? Because one day it smoked incredible in this pipe. This is a very cheap basket pipe and I have just dedicated this pipe to it ever since then because I just enjoy this blend in this pipe. It's good stuff. Um, you know, look, I'm today enjoying it from this, this here tin. But remember what I said was the caveat was it has to be available in bulk. And it is. It's only available from smokingpipes.com. Used to only be available at Kramer's Pipe Shop, which ain't there no more. But Smoking Pipes has tinned it, so you can get your tins if you like, and you can also get it in bulk. I highly recommend it. It's a, it's a really incredible uh, blend. And uh, again, inexpensive, readily available, and you can get a bag of it. Now, I'm down to number two and number one, and I say it that way because I've given a slight edge to number one. These two are really tied for me right now. I've been enjoying both of these. I've put number one in its spot as number one. I think more out of novelty because it's newer to me and I'm enjoying getting to know it. A few months from now, it might be number two and number one. I, that may switch places, I don't know. But let me give you my number two, which is not the non-novel one. This is the one I've been enjoying for a while. Uh, it's Lane Limited's BS005. Now, this is one that went away for a while and Lane brought it back a couple years ago. And I think it's not talked about a whole lot. I think it's underknown, I think it's underrated, and I think people are missing out on an incredible blend. This is a cool smoking, full flavored, this is a great traditional English blend. Um, it's, um, it's readily available, it's in bulk, it's BS005, it's a mix of Latakia, or, uh, Oriental Turkish, and Virginia. It is, um, it's mixed well, and I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, this is, and this is one that you could enjoy all day. It's not going to fatigue the palate. Um, I don't know about the room note. You know, sometimes you get these, these kinds of blends aren't usually all that favorable to uh, the non-partakers. And so I would imagine this BS005 is in that, that neighborhood. I'll tell you what else, you can use this as a mixer blend too. This was, um, this was what was giving the English taste to the, um, the hybrid that I created called Rector's Blend. You, I've got a video if you want to get the uh, exact ingredients on that. you got to sit through my rant about the weather in order to get to it first. But that's my number two, Lane Limited BS005. It's number two on my list of cold weather tobaccos, readily available in bulk with some Latakia in them. And uh, again, it might be number one in a couple months. Number one, I've given a distinction to because it's just as good uh, as BS005, but it's newer to me. 
I've only had this one for a few weeks now and have thoroughly enjoyed getting to know it. Although it is an old blend and it's readily available in bulk. It's C&D's Cordial. I'm going to give you a warning now. When you go to type in Cordial, either a, you know on a, at a store website or on uh, tobaccoreviews.com, wherever you go, there's a ton of tobaccos with Cordial in the name. Uh, this is not in the name. This is the name. C&D, Cornell and Deals Cordial, a smooth blend of Virginia, Turkish, Latakia, and Black Cavendish. This is, this is just a fun uh, fall and winter smoke. There's a complexity about it. it it's going to change and morph and, and do some things throughout the bowl that are just fun and unexpected. But at the same time, you know that you're smoking a good quality uh, English blend. They actually classify it as a Scottish blend. I honestly, I don't know what the difference is between these sorts of classifications are. Uh, but again, Black Cavendish, some Latakia, some Oriental Turkish, some Virginia. It's an incredible blend. It's perfect for this time of the year. Again, I suspect it's not got the greatest room note. It's not necessarily an in-your-face lat bomb like, say, my number five was, uh, which is, uh, what was not my number five? Star of the East, or, you know, like, um, when I think of lat bomb, I think of uh, uh, pirate cake or something. It's not like that. But there's enough Latakia there uh, for the flavor profile to really stand up and, and be counted, but it mixes well with all the other stuff that's in there. So, la, that's my top five list of, of cool weather, cold weather smoking blends that are in bulk, readily available, inexpensive. You can get your hands on them. And I recommend that you get your hands on it. If you haven't had any of these, and there's a good chance you probably had one or more of what was on the list there. Cordial's brand new to me, even though I said it's been around for a long time. Some folks may not have had that shepherd's pie because it's only available through uh, Country Squire Tobacconist. Speaking of only available through, I'm gonna throw out um, an honorable mention. It's only available through Boswell's. It's one of theirs. Uh, it's, um, it's an English blend, but it's also got a little bit of a, a topping to a little alcohol topping, which gives a wonderful um, side note, I think is the term matches used for it. And it's Boswell's Countryside. Get a hold of some of that if you, if you want to try for an interesting uh, light to medium um, uh, English. I, I'm not going to call it an aromatic. Uh, but it does have that little bit of a boozy top to it that just, and it's very subtle, but it makes for an interesting smooth. I'm going to give you that one as a bonus or as an honorable mention, Boswell's uh, country, Countryside. Uh, so there you have it. That's some of the blends you can get in bulk that are good, they're available, and they're out there. And, um, you know, I hope that if you try some of those that you consider making a video response and let me know what your thoughts are on it. Hey, enjoy being with you as always, but it's time to sign off so I can go relight. And yes, I know what I'm using. And yes, you know who you are. I know who you are. We all know who you are now, Blue Dog. But I thank you for coming along for the Rod Padre, signing off and wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings. <laughs>